<laughs> this episode is brought to you by Savory Vietnam. Savory Vietnam is located in Denver, Colorado at 2200 West Alameda Street. Whenever I'm in Denver, Colorado, the one place I love eating Vietnamese food at is Savory Vietnam. Go check them out. And now, on to the show. What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of FK and Delicious, and today we're in Saigon, Vietnam. Now, it's Friday night. I got $100 in my pocket, and how do I want to blow it? It's a place in town called Thao. It is an Italian bistro, but it's more than just a bistro. It's a, a wine bar, a place that really knows food. So today, I want to show you guys how to blow $100 here in Saigon on a momentous occasion that you might want to spend on yourself. All right, dinner's gonna start. We're gonna do a bunch of courses today. Here at Thao, uh, it is a new Italian bistro and wine bar. So it's Friday night, I wanna really spend my time uh, eating amazing food from an Italian chef, from an Italian general manager, and an Italian bar staff. This meal is gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with their bread basket. And uh, I'll show you what the bread's I just show you what it looks like. So this bread basket, you have milk bread, you have uh, breadsticks, and you have this beautiful olive tepanade. So there's really nothing special about this, other than the bread's made fresh in house. You can smell the rosemary in the bread. This olive tapenade has so much flavor. It is just salty. It's briny. Mm. It's a really great way to eat this bread. This bread is airy. It just has you know, beautiful pockets of air. That's why you know when bread is really well made. Mm. This next course, I had to write this down. This is the roe and smoked salmon Christine. Let me show you what it's all about. So on this plate, you have a beautiful Christine, which is a toasted bread. Then you have what looks like a cream cheese, or even a mascarpone cheese. You have smoked salmon, you have salmon roe, and you have edible flowers. Oh, underneath there are some wedges of lemon. So that should really bring a nice acidity. On the plate, there's some arugula and some pink peppercorns. All right, let's get on this. I'm gonna leave the wedges of lemon on there because I think it's gonna bring a nice acidity to the smoked salmon. There we go. That's great. The bread is crusty. It really holds up this crustini. The smoked salmon has a great depth to it. The, what looks like a cream cheese or even mascarpone cheese. Has a, has a really nice fattiness to it. And all together, it has a great texture. I'm glad I left in the lemon wedges because it's a nice sweetness with the, again, I think it's mascarpone cheese. But between that, the sweetness of that, and also the, the uh, nice tartness of the lemon, that's really nice. And then the richness, that, that smokiness of the smoked salmon, that's amazing. It is cocktail time. You cannot have a wonderful Friday night dinner without a cocktail. Now this is the Corpse Reaver number 55. I think this is a piece of dehydrated mango. Hmm. Luckily I am right. It's almost like a fruit roll up in the texture. Well, to you guys. Oh, quite nice. So it, it's like a sparkling wine. Inside there's a pickle plum. It's sweet, it's tart, but not overly sweet as in sugar. That is really, that's a really great cocktail. That nice way to start off the, uh, the dinner. There is no way to end a meal but having an old fashioned. Now, this is a wine old fashioned because here at Thao, they really focus on having not only a great wine list, but a great 
uh, wine cocktail list. So this is a uh, port, I wouldn't call it infused, it's like even a port style old fashioned. So um, let's get in on this. There's sweet vermouth, there's, um, what else is on old fashioned? I'm gonna cut that one out. Carry on. Oh, that's a nice way to digest that heavy meal. You taste the bitters, you taste the gin, you taste the sweet vermouth, you taste Campari. But by, and I even take the gin in there, but by using the port, it brings a nice roundness. It, it, it brings a nice sweetness to uh, what usually is a, a cocktail that is super strong, but doesn't have that body that this wine cocktail does. That, that is a way to end your meal. Next course, we're going to do a little bit of foie gras and green apple. That's a nice little um, play on not only flavors, but textures. Uh, foie gras is, for you know who don't know, it is goose liver. It is such a flavorful um, piece of Protein. I, I guess I gotta say it's protein. The apples are nice caramel, and then there's a nice crostini on top. Um, I guess all I can do right now is show you this beautiful uh, dish, and then you guys can see what this is all about. You have this beautiful piece of foie gras, which is goose liver, and it is so fatty. It is so delicious. Nice crostini on top for texture, and then there's uh, some caramel apples on the bottom. That dish right here looks like it's going to be a winner. All right, let's get into this beautiful foie gras, caramel apples, and this beautiful crostini on top. There's no better way to eat this but just to dig right on in. So that goose liver is going to be so rich and minerally irony. The apples, the apples just really sing about the crunch and that, that nice texture. Mm. If you never had foie gras, I suggest you go find a nice restaurant, treat yourself. Mm. Foie is, is smooth in texture. On any other liver, you think it's going to be irony, it's going to be minerally, but no, this one, it has a flavor on its own. It has a flavor that it was banned in certain states in America because it's that good. Now, how they produce it, listen. I'm not going to talk to you about that one because it is a little bit, uh, it is a little bit inhumane. When it comes to flavor wise, though, there's nothing like foie gras. Mm. We're going to pair this with a. Woo! I usually pair something that's really a nice red wine that is hearty, it is earthy, it is like full of cherries and dark oak. But no, we're going to pair this with a Chateau Grand Douce Brat Saint Croix Dumas, a sweet wine, 2018. And this sweet wine is going to be able to cut the acidity, or the acidity in this is going to cut the richness in the foie gras. It's going to cut all that like really heavy flavor. Oh, I never thought, I really, in my, my mind, I never thought that a sweet wine would go with such a rich uh, a dish. But that pairing is absolutely amazing. When you're here at Thao, this is something that you cannot go without. You've got to get the foie gras. 
with the apples. You gotta go with the ice wine. That pairing is absolutely amazing. Next course, we're gonna do a little bit of bone marrow. Yes, so bone marrow is literally your bone. They slice it in half, and what's inside is this, it is this creamy and fatty and rich flavor that I don't think you're gonna get anywhere else. But here, they take it up one level. They're gonna do a bone marrow. They're gonna put in some uh, foie gras, and it's over a bed of sea salt. This is like, overly indulgent. Let me show you guys what we're gonna eat right now. That foie gras is on top. Some edible flowers, and then this beautiful bone marrow. I mean, let, let, me, just, let me just show you guys like how creamy that is. And that is just, that is just flavor right there. That is just absolutely, amazing flavor. So, something that is so rich and heavy. God, you... I am so sorry, car cardiologists, that this is... This is just fat. This is just goodness. This is richness. This is living your best life. That bone marrow, there isn't much in an animal. And so when you eat into it, it is so, it is so luscious, it is so regal. Oh. What does bone marrow taste like for those who haven't had it before? Well, it tastes like, I mean, there's a lot of minerality and a lot of richness. It tastes like the bone. This is the calcium of the bone. And then once you bite into it, I mean, it really just dissipates into your mouth. And there, there really isn't any um, text. There really isn't any uh, push or pull. It just melts because what it is, it literally is just fat. And with the fog raw on top, it's amazing. Now this is literally just bone marrow fat. I'm gonna suck it up right now. Oh. That, that is, that is my last meal on this planet. That is the last thing I want to eat in this world. Because it is just, this is so minerally, it's just so rich. There is nothing in this world as good as bone marrow and foie gras. Finish off with a little bit of the port old fashioned. That is, that is literally a great pairing. If you're in Vietnam, you gotta try these two things out because that is amazing. For the main course, we're gonna do a braised beef cheek. Now, beef cheek is a cut that not many people use in cooking. But if you braise it down, if you sear it off on the outside, you braise it down in celery, carrots, uh, onions, red wine, and you really make this beautiful uh, reduction. Beef cheek is one of those things that you cannot uh, pass on any menu. So we're gonna do some beef cheeks, some truffle polenta, some root veg, then we're gonna pair it with this beautiful uh, wine. Let me show you the, what the food looks like first, and then we'll do the wine afterward. So this is beef cheeks that have been braised down. You can see the fibers in there. This is a truffle polenta, at least under there is. Then you have root vegetables, this is carrot, you have some asparagus, you have some sorrel. Um, I don't know what that is. It's red. I know that's sorrel. I know that. I know that's sorrel. All right, we're going to pair this with a Chateau d'Ozac Ori, or 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 or
De Dozac Marga. So this is a French wine. This is going to be a really earthy and really rich type of wine. Oh, just, I mean, just smelling it. It just smells like fresh berries. It smells like, a, like, like an open meadow. Oh, that's great. That's really nice as a wine. You taste the tannins, you taste the, um, the, 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 the skin of the grape. It really is bright and acidic. It's going to go right on in here on the beef cheeks. I mean, you don't need to do much. It literally breaks apart. And if you like brisket, if you like anything that is uh, full of flavor and also tender, beef cheek is something that you cannot go without. There's so much collagen in the cheek that if you were to make the steak, just toughen up and just like be really, really stiff. But you braise it, you cook it really low and slow. That beef cheek is amazing. Mm. That polenta is amazing. Polenta in the West, in the especially in the South, Texas. Uh, polenta is grits, and grits takes great flavor for whatever you put into it. For me, grits is it's really homey. It's it, it's really you know thick and luscious. Compare with or paired with the beef cheek. And the wine. Mm. Ah, mm. oh, that that is really, really. How amazing the food here in Saigon, Vietnam is. There, is. there is no way to finish a Italian feast like I just had without having some tiramisu. So this beautiful tiramisu layered in this, uh, it's not a rocks glass. It's, you know, it's, it's a very decorative glass, but that is a beautiful tiramisu. Let's dig right on in here. For me, tiramisu is really about um, the balance between the textures, the vegetable cheese, um, but also the sweetness. Like I don't want a, a super sweet or super uh, rich tiramisu. And that's a nice balance. That's good. That's good. And you can see how light that vegetable cheese has been whipped up. That's beautiful. Really nice richness, great texture. Dusted with a little cocoa powder on top. Oh, <laughs> that is good. I only call it, that's real cocoa powder on top. That's absolutely amazing. What an incredible meal from the bread basket to the starters to the foie gras to the bone marrow to finish off with the beef the, to finish off with the beef cheek to braise down um, and then the tiramisu I mean I'm still holding out to the cholesterol now because it's that good I'm a tiramisu in so many different places but that tiramisu really stuck out as something in my mind. The wine list here is absolutely amazing. I think the markup is very fair, especially here in Vietnam. I've seen places that uh, mark up bad wine, three, four X, um, but 
after going through this beautiful wine list at Tao and really kind of looking into the regions and the Appalachians, uh, I think that this is a very fair price wine bar to go to. The space is amazing. The service is absolutely stupendous. But to be able to get this wine list here, most wines, this is going to sound expensive to you. This is going to sound like how in the hell do you get afford this? But most wines start about $35 up to about $70, $75. Now, there is some really high-end stuff in the three or four hundreds. I think those are very bottles that are specialty. But uh, to get a bottle of wine from $35 to $75, $80, two bottles for $160, they've really taken their time to really develop a great wine list, uh, curate something that is special. It's something that you'll remember for uh, years to come. And I think that uh, Tao really been, was able to create a wine list that uh, spoke to us uh, wine connoisseurs. I am not a sommelier. I am not even uh, somebody who knows wine that much. But just to give you an example, to get a 2018 Saint Emilion Grand Cru for 1.9 million. It's 1.9 million today, so I can't tell you what's going to be like later when you get here. But for $81 to get that level of wine, like you're just not going to get it anywhere else. So when you're in Saigon, you want to kind of treat yourself to an Italian piece. Come with Tao. Uh, get a look at the wine list. They have a great uh, pour as you go program. So there's a wine machine over to my left here. You can get a 100 ml, 150. Um, it all depends on what you want, but price point uh, for wine is very, very good. And for the quality of food, it is absolutely amazing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Calvin Bowie, AKA Captain Charisma. When you're in Vietnam, make sure you check this place out. Address down below, which is place out. This is an, this was an absolute. This is one of my favorite uh, Friday night meals thus yet. Later.